Pablo says, right now is a bad time to spend money. Is that right, Pablo? What do you think? It's a bad time to spend money, Dad. Don't dare, because don't you want to retire? You'll never be able to retire if you don't have any money to spend. It's a bad time to spend money. Look at those little paws. Look at those paws. Mm. All right, so let's read this from the Wall Street Journal. With prices and interest rates high, this is the moment to focus on savings, says Oyen Alab. I don't know how to say that guy's last name. Sorry. All right, so let's see what we got here. Prices remain high for much of what we buy, even as inflation has slowed. Stringing, stingingly saving money, meanwhile, is more profitable activity than has been in recent memory. Since the Federal Reserve raised interest rates to a two-decade high. Any dollar spent today is a lost opportunity to earn as much as 5% in savings. High rates also make it significantly more expensive for people to spend money they don't have. With annual interest rates on some credit cards pushing 30%. That you gotta have use we gotta have go back to usury laws, dude. Remember, in the Bible, you could loan to uh to like Jews could loan to non-Jews and not charge interest, but they couldn't loan to themselves and charge interest. We gotta go back to that. Christians should be loaning to Christians with no interest. If Jews want to loan to Jews, they should do it. If Muslims want to loan to Muslims, they should do it. We should go back to those days. I'm telling you right now. Get rid of usury. It's uh it's just freaking bad, man. I just it's uh you're like it's never gonna happen because the banksters control everything. There's too much money to be saved to be uh, to be had in credit card and Capital One. And who's the guy from uh, who owns the Phoenix Suns? They made all their money on mortgages and stuff, and they bought the Phoenix. Just freaking clowns. These guys make so much money on leverage. Oh, it just is, and then we bail them all out because they over leverage. It's just such a socialize the risk, privatize the profits. It's good work if you can get it. And you and I, we ain't going to be able to get that work. Oh, gosh almighty. All right, so uh, the temptation to spend more around the holidays is always inevitable. But there are ways to fight it. Right. So the way to fight it is just to recognize we need to have savings. We need to have an emergency account of some sort. Absolutely. Dude, you got to have this. And the emergency account isn't for holiday presents. With this cup of coffee, I'm drinking decaf because I'm cool. I only drink decaf because only fools drink calf. As cool guys, we don't drink decaf. So right now, it's, it is, I 100% agree. I think it's a bad time to spend. Uh, and look, if you have the money, by all means, I talked to these couple yet today. It's a great couple. And uh, they're going to retire, as always. No, He's got a pension. He's got a small pension. And he's got no debt. And as always, as always, I've yet to find a case where you can't retire if you have a pension and no debt. Now, they're going to have to watch out because they're pretty young still. I mean, these guys aren't even in their 60s yet. And so he's going to work, you know, a little bit longer. But I said, look, if you retire, you've got to follow discipline. And they knew who Larry Burkett was, Ron Blue and stuff. So they're quite familiar with um, Christianity and Christian-based financial planning. Then again, no clear. But anyway, so they're, they're going to be okay. They just don't spend that much money. And they raised three kids. Their kids are crushing. These guys are crushing. And I said, just if the markets fall 20%, you've got to just don't take that vacation, essentially. Because, you know, they want a, a nice little travel budget. Because they raised all their kids, man. So they're, well, is everybody? You hear mom? So anyway, at the end of the, at the, end of the day, I was like, you just, because they have a small pension and, uh, and no debt. They don't have a huge amount saved set aside either. And they're still going to need health care and whatnot. But they'll qualify for significant Obamacare premium surpluses, uh, premium tax credits. And uh, so just take Social Security. When they're 67, they're going to be relying heavily on Social Security at some point. Well, that's just stupid advice. No, it's not stupid advice, dude. It's not stupid advice. I mean, they're not going to need Social Security you know, to put food on the table. But they'll certainly want Social Security to provide a, a significant source of their income. The same thing's going to happen to me, man. And they you know, have no debt. But anyway, the point being is they want to buy a travel trailer so they can go travel and see their kids. You know, a small one, $35,000, $40,000 or something like that. And I said, well, you know, just buy it now while you got the cash flow. You know what I'm saying? Just buy it now while you got the cash flow so you can enjoy it. I mean, you might not be around. You know, his dad died when he was 60. His granddad died when he was 45 or something like that. He said, you just don't know. You just don't know. You know, buy it now so you can enjoy it because you might not be around to enjoy it. They're going to pay cash for it because, you know, they're, they're not dumb. They don't take debts. But what I'm saying is you just don't know. But I told him, I said, look, if the market falls 20%, you've got to cut back. You can't take that vacation. You know what I'm saying? You just got to cut. That's the guardrails in effect. And they know how to do this, man. I'm not worried at all. But, but they have no debt. And when you have no debt, you can travel lightly. 
If you have debt, you're inherently, you can't. You have to have enough income to pay off the debt. And you have to enough income to pay off the debt, but you have to pay tax on the income that you receive to pay off that debt. That's the, two, that's the, the killer about debt. Not only are you using it to pay off debt, you have to have income, which you have to pay tax to pay off that debt. And on top of that, you got to get earn enough, more income the next year because the interest rates. So you pay a hundred bucks today, if it's a 3% interest, you pay 103 to next year. You got to make 103 now, all that subject to taxation in order to pay the hundred bucks that you had here today, that went 3% interest rate. It's a, oh man. Anyway, so if, watch your spending, try to pay down some debt. You know, people, we got too much as it is. There's not much you can buy for somebody who doesn't already have an America right now. It just isn't much. All right, love your thoughts. We'll see you.